Okay, so we'll be, we'll be talking a little bit about letting, you know, like being an addiction is like having, it's like a, it's like expect that you've got like, uh, like tons of repressed feelings. So you have, it's like having buckets of repressed shame, uh, repressed guilt, uh, repressed fear, repressed anger. So you, anyone who's been in an active addiction um, have got all these, like imagine like little cylinders of repressed feelings, like huge volcanoes of shame yeah, that you never get to feel because you're always using on this on TV or using on food or using on alcohol, you're using on uh, bad relationships, whatever it is. So as soon as you start spiritual work and you stop all the things you escape, your feelings, then you're going to open up the pressure cooker, you know, and these feelings are going to come out like in huge, uh, like vol volcanic eruptions. Now, the thing with me, because I was exposed, you know, I had a near-death spiritual experience, and then I, by grace I was um, shown two enlightened teachers. And uh, enlightened teachers share about one thing, and I'm going to do this, and it scares a lot of people away, but I can't stop talking about it. So, it's like... <laughs> I know, I know that that's okay. <laughs> I can't stop talking about it. So that's probably why we don't have many people <laughs> because so enlightened teachers are always going to talk about death of the ego, uh -huh. death of the ego. You know, so in order to experience, you know, the, the eternal, you know, the the, uh, the light of God, you know, this this subject, you know, the death of the ego. So, and the great thing I think about uh, meeting teachers of enlightenment is, you know, they they've got a great laugh, a sense of humor. Uh, but they're also sharing their experience that if you're serious about spiritual work, I mean really serious about spiritual work, then it's really useful to know that at a certain point it will feel like something is dying and it's going to be really scary. It's going to be so, so scary because what's happening is that if you want to do real serious work, not like semi-spiritual work, which is like fun work but not really serious about spiritual work, if you want to do serious spiritual work, it will feel like you, uh, when you're giving up addictions and when you're giving up even the core of the ego for enlightenment, it will feel like you're going to die. And all spiritual teachers of enlightenment would say, that's what we're waiting for, we're looking for that, that's a great opportunity. Because what's dying is your ego. What's dying is your identity. What's dying is the illusion of what you thought you were. So. Now, most people, and if you're not taught this, will run back to their egos, going, my God, they nearly died there. You know, it's like, you know, thank God I'm back in my ego, and I'm, I'm, my ego is me, and I'm happy. God, I don't want to feel like I'm going to die again. You know, it's like, you know, so... But for a teacher of enlightenment, that's the place we want to get you to. Because what's dying is what we want to get to die. You know, so when you feel like you're dying, that's God's opportunity to go through. So this is what the, this is why this is this probably this group isn't very well attended. Because that's, you know, if you want to go all the way to God, not that you have to, you don't you can keep your ego if you want to. I mean it's mm. like it's everyone's free choice. I'm not here to tell everyone that they should let their egos go by all no means. But but you know, just to say if you do spiritual work you'll get these feelings like you're gonna die if you go through this feeling. And that's going to be a hallmark. As you go more and more advanced in your spiritual work you'll get these like death moments that would come up, feeling like you're going to die. And when I gave up my food addiction, I had panic attacks, you know, and it was like, and of course it makes sense now, because, you know, I'd been overeating and repressing my feelings, so as soon as I stopped eating, it's like this, if you don't try and escape into side addictions, it's like you get an overwhelm of extreme feelings that mm. you feel, and you feel like you're dying, like a panic attack feels like you're dying. You can't breathe, there's no air in the room, uh, you think your heart's going to explode out of your chest and if you felt this feeling for a moment longer you'll die so you must grasp anything not to feel your feelings yeah, food or whatever it is so I realized from my spiritual teachers that actually I want, and I'd had that spiritual, I want God and so I was willing uh, and I knew that when I feel the experience of death that's what I want to face you know, that's what I'm looking for, to face. And I'm just sharing my own thing, because I don't want to tell anyone what to do. But I wanted God so badly, and I, I trusted my spiritual teachers absolutely, 
100% that when the death, when the feeling of death comes upon me, I was, and this is a thing which I believe, you know, allowed me to make very fast spiritual progress, was I was willing to die and face that feeling. Even if it killed the body, I was still willing to go through that feeling and not back down and use. And trust my spiritual teachers that that, that I mean, it was kind of obvious that if I carried on using, I would die. So why not take the risk of absolute bliss and an amazing a life beyond my wildest dreams to, to embrace the fear of my ego dying, i.e. a panic attack, and not back down for anything and go through it. Uh, the first time, I, it was the middle of the night, I got the panic attacks. And I want to share this for everyone because it's this thing of this idea when you're trapped by your ego that when you feel death, it's like your ego's got an explosion, a panic attack, or it feels like you're going to die if you feel this horrific feeling or out of control, you go insane. That, that's the time to, uh, or you can take, or if you trust my experience, that's the time not to back down and to use through those feelings and to go through. Uh, you don't have to, but uh, that was my experience. And, um, and after I went through the first panic attack, I'm sure my... And, it's, and it passed. I didn't back down. It lasted 15 to 20 minutes with a panic attack. I didn't use. And, and I started breathing again. That's when my recovery and my spiritual connection took a quantum leap up. You know, it was because you didn't... What, what took a huge death was my ego. Mm. You know, because I'd gone through the illusion of, of facing the fear of death and going through a panic attack without using anything. And I wasn't an enlightened teacher, but I... Yep. When, we are um, recording though, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Um, when this situation happened with my work, yeah. and I was told the news, yeah. and um, two people I uh, trusted the most to validate my ego and what I'm about, yes. um, told me, no, you're not anymore, here is the letter to prove it. When I left the building, even yeah. though I've attended the same location for 20 years, the same place in London, the same roads, the same everything, everything seemed different. It was like I was standing completely stripped of my ego and identity and who my worth yes. of who I am as a person. And at that time, I realized there was a death of, 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 of who I am up to that point and who I identify myself with. I was lost. I didn't know if I can catch the right train, if I can move from where I was. I was crying. I just didn't know what to do. So I made a phone call. Um, to my partner, but at that time, I also realized two things happened. I thought something has died now. I don't have a clue who I am. And the next thing that happened was I never ever want to be defined in this way again. Never. Um, and for me, that was, I have worked with people that have given decades to the, the same job I did, only to leave and die soon after. We had a number of cases like that, and I just thought it's almost like when you surrender and let go, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you just lose your life because your whole identity is wrapped into what you do. And I definitely don't want that to, 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 to I don't think I'm put on this earth for that purpose. No, and uh, that, that, that definitely happens in addiction, when you're addicted to the body, to food, to a career. Mm -hmm. Also, addicted to a certain identity or what people think of you, or, or mm. even attachments to loved ones. Mm. Uh, so then, it's when you lose your attachment, there's no point in living. Because again, with the Course in Miracles, nothing outside of you um, can be the source. Mm. So when these things, when you identify too strongly with them, food or the body or one's appearance or a career or a loved one, and when you lost them, because the ego has projected this illusory idea that life is dependent on, it, on these things, then the, it seems like there's no point in living, so you might as well just die. So, and the thing I would say is like, don't die, just feel the feelings out, mm. and then you'll be reborn into God's eternal love. So, I wanted to share that, you know, uh, because when you start <coughs> When you start not feeling your feelings, it's like huge extreme feelings are going to come up and it's going to feel like death. And it's like, I just wanted to share it, you know, it's like, that's the opportunity. 
you know, rather than go and run and grab a bagel or a cake or something or a bottle of wine or go on a dating website or whatever it is, mm. just like feel that, feel that feeling and go through it. And I just shared that experience of going through a panic attack, going through the feeling like you're dying because that then catapults you up to the next level of your spiritual connection. It's like these are opportunities for annual, and, and sometimes if it's a major attraction, it can take weeks or months mm. to clear out the things, you know. Like definitely when I had kidney failure, it's loss of career, loss of my physical health, loss of everything. So that took a while to like process all of that stuff. Mm. So it's not necessarily always, but, um, but if you're in a 12 step group, you can process these things uh, or doing spiritual work, you can process them much faster. I didn't have all of that backup, so it took a lot, it was a lot more difficult. So, yeah, so when you feel feelings of extreme uh, out of controlness or death or something, my experience was going through those was a huge leap up. And it's like when you go up in spiritual connection, you know, you know you're going to attract much better things because to use on those extreme feelings just, re, uh, just allows the ego to carry on its dominion at that level. You see.